students. Today, we'll discuss about wave characteristics, wave equation, and Planck's equation. In this lesson, you should be able to identify and define the different wave characteristics such as wavelength, frequency, speed, amplitude, crest, trough, and midpoint. State the relationship among wavelength, frequency, and energy of electromagnetic wave. Calculate the energy of electromagnetic waves using Planck's equation E equals HF. And calculate the speed, frequency, or wavelength of electromagnetic waves using the wave equation V equals lambda F. A wave is a disturbance in a medium that carries energy without moving the particles of a matter or medium. The parts of the wave are the wavelength, amplitude, crest, trough, and midpoint or equilibrium position. Wavelength is one way of measuring the size of waves. A wavelength, symbolized by lambda, is the distance between two successive crests or troughs of a wave. Crest is the highest point of the wave, while trough is the lowest point of the wave. The midpoint or equilibrium position is the part where there is no disturbance or no wave. The amplitude A of a wave is the maximum disturbance or displacement of the medium from the midpoint or equilibrium position to a crest or a trough. Before we solve problems using wave equation, we recall first the different prefixes because we will use some of these prefixes in solving some problems. Um, now, how do we calculate the frequency or say the wavelength or speed using the wave equation V equals lambda F? In this equation, V is the wave speed, lambda is the wavelength, and F is the frequency of the wave. If the given speed is the speed of light in a vacuum, then we use C instead of V. So the equation becomes C equals lambda F. The energy of a photon of electromagnetic wave can be calculated from Planck's equation E equals HF, where E is the energy of the wave, H is the Planck's constant which is equal 6.625 times 10 to the negative 34 joule second, or we just round, round off its value to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule second, and F is the frequency of the wave. We try solving some problems involving the wave equation. So we'll start with this problem. What is the wavelength of light waves with frequency of 3 gigahertz? Um, the given quantity in this problem is frequency which is equal to 3 gigahertz. If the speed is not specified in the problem, we assume that the speed is the speed of light in a vacuum. So therefore, we use the value 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. To solve for the wavelength, we derive its equation from the speed equation C equals lambda F. Um, by cross-multiplying the equation, uh, the wavelength is equal to lambda equals C over F. Um, we substitute the given values. The speed is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and the frequency is 3, 3 gigahertz. We rewrite 3 gigahertz to 3 times 10 to the 9 since uh, 3 times 10 to the 9 hertz because giga is equal to 10 to the 9 and hertz is equal to 1 over second. So we divide the number 3 divide 3 uh, equals 1. Since the operation is division, we must subtract the exponent of the base 10 so 8 minus 9 is negative 1. And the unit second will be cancelled out or just equal to 1 since they are both in the denominator. The wavelength is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 1 meter. Uh, let's try another one. The wavelength of red light is 700 nanometers. Calculate its frequency in megahertz. Um, in this number 2 example, the given is the wavelength which is equal to 700 nanometers. We use again the speed of light in a vacuum since in the problem it is not given. So we assume that the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we are required for this problem, uh, we, try, we will find for the frequency in megahertz. So we use again the wave speed, C equals uh, lambda F. But this time, we derive the equation for frequency. Cross multiply again the wave equation. 
So, frequency is equal to C over lambda or the speed of light divided by the given wavelength. We divide 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second by 700 nanometers. Nano is equal to 10 to the negative 9. So again, we rewrite the denominator in proper scientific notation form by moving the decimal point to the left. So we get a positive 2 exponent. Our denominator becomes 7 times 10 to the second power minus 9 meter. Then, divide 3 by 7. The answer is 0 0.429. Then, subtract the exponent in the denominator um, since they have unlike sign. So, the answer is negative 7. Then, cancel the meter unit. We're left with a unit per second. Then, subtract the exponent since the operation is division. But, in this example, the denominator is negative 7. So, we must change the sign of 7 and the operation to positive. So, that is 8 minus negative 7 become uh, 8 plus 7. So, the answer is 15. Then, write again the number 0 0.429 in correct scientific notation form. By moving the decimal point to the right, we gain a negative exponent. Uh, so, we obtain 4.29 times 10 to the negative 1 plus 15 per second. The answer is 4.29 times 10 to the 14 per second or 4.29 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Uh, let's try the third problem. The speed of light in a vacuum is approximately 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. What is this speed in cm per second? In this problem, you need not use the wave equation, but simply, this is just a conversion of units. You must express the given speed in meters per second to cm per second. So we know that um, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So we will use this conversion factor to solve the third problem. The speed of light is given, so we just convert this number the 3 to the 8 meters per second to cm per second. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second times the conversion factor, 1 meter equals 100 cm. We place 1 meter in the denominator so that we can cancel the unit meter and 100 cm in the numerator. Multiply 3 times 10 to the 8 by the conversion factor 100 cm divided by 1 meter. We rewrite 100 cm into scientific notation form for easy calculation. So that is 1 times 10 to the second power cm or simply 10 to the second power. Multiply 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second times 10 to the second power cm. Then divide by 1 meter. Then we do the math, 3 times 10 to the 8 plus 2 cm per second since in multiplication, the exponents should be added. And in addition, they have the same sign. Both of the numbers are positive. Meter unit will be cancelled out so we are left with cm unit and second unit. So our answer would be cm per second. Our final answer would be 3 times 10 to the 10 cm per second. The next problem is an application of the Planck's equation which is E equals hf. For number 4, what is the energy of a blue light with a wavelength of 492 nanometers? Express your answer in kilojoules. The Planck's constant is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule second. So in this problem, the given quantity is wavelength, which is equal to 492 nanometers. Also, we assume that the speed of light is the speed of light in the vacuum. The required quantity is the energy of blue light in kilojoules. Here, we cannot solve directly for the energy of the wave because in the Planck's equation, the involved quantities are Planck's constant and the frequency of the wave. But in the problem, we are given the wavelength, not the frequency. We must first find for the frequency before calculating for the energy of the wave. Using the wave equation, we first calculate the frequency. So after finding the frequency, then we can calculate the energy. 
So we first calculate the frequency. The frequency is, is equal to the speed of light in a vacuum that is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by the wavelength which is equal to 492 nanometers. Writing the wavelength into scientific notation form and the prefix nano which is equal to 10 to the negative 9 so that our answer would be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by or divided by 4.92 times 10 to the second power times to the 10 to the negative 9 which is the nanometer. We simplify the denominator 4.92 times 10 to the negative 7 meter because uh, 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Uh, we copy the sign of the bigger number, the negative 9. Cancel the unit meter so that the unit is per second. Then divide 3 by 4.92. The answer is 0.61. This is rounded off um, answer. Then copy the exponent that is times 10 to the 8. Divide by the denominator, the exponent of the denominator which is 10 to the negative 7. Then move the decimal point of the number 0.61 to the right so we get a negative 1 exponent. The exponent in the numerator become 8 minus 1 equals 7. Then divide it by the denominator which is 10 to the negative 7. So we subtract the exponent since the operation is division. But the exponent in the denominator is a negative number. So we must change the sign and the operation to positive. So the answer is 6.10 or 6.1 times 10 to the 7 minus negative 7 become 7 plus 7 equals 14. Therefore, the answer is 6.1 times 10 to the 14 per second or 6.1 times 10 to the 14 hertz. So we are now ready to find for the energy of the blue light. Using the Planck's equation, E equals HF, we substitute the values H or the Planck's constant that is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds times the calculated frequency which is equal to 6.10 times 10 to the 14 per second. Then multiply the number 6 times uh, 6.63 times 6.10, the product is 40.44. And then, we subtract the exponents because they have different sign. The answer is negative 20. So, negative 34 plus 10 would be um, equal to negative 20. So, cancel the unit second. We left with um, joule unit. Write the number in correct scientific notation form by moving the decimal point to the left. So, we gain a positive, um, positive 1 exponent. Subtract the exponent because they have different sign, so the answer is negative 19. Our answer would be 4.04 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. But in the problem, we must express the final answer in kilojoules. Uh, we recall the, the prefix kilo that is 10 to the um, positive 3. So we must add 3 to the exponent negative 19, so our answer would be uh, 4.04 times 10 to the negative 22 kilojoules. Uh, you can check if your answer is correct by uh, rewriting the number in joules. Um, 4.04 times 10 to the negative 22 times the kilo, which is 10 to the sec to the third power joules. Um, negative 22 plus 3 equals negative 19. So our answer is correct. That is 4.04 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. It's just the same as um, 4.04 times 10 to the negative 22 kilojoules. For your practice, please answer the problem shown here. Uh, infrared light has a wavelength of 790 nanometers. What is the energy of this EM wave in megajoules? And second, calculate the energy of a photon of green light in joules if its wavelength is 525 nanometers. So I hope this lesson helps you in answering problems like this one. See you for our next lesson.